Hey everyone, today's video is on gender fluid people and what their identity entails. Gender fluid people are simply people that have a fluid identity when it comes to gender. So their gender identity is not always the same. To better help people understand gender fluid people, I'll go over some questions that people might have about gender fluid people. How often do gender fluid identities change? Well, gender fluid identities are not always the same and how people have their own unique experiences in relation to gender are not always the same. So for some people, their gender identity might shift days, weeks, months later, and some people could see their gender identity change within the same day. Are gender fluid people only male and female? Not necessarily. Gender fluid people can be male, female, non-binary, agender, so any, any gender identity or lack of, they can fluctuate between. So there is no set limit of only being male and female, even though that is a common thing seen between gender fluid people. How many genders does a gender fluid person need to have? Well, a gender fluid person, while it's often assumed that they would have two or more genders, they could only have one gender. And you might say, how could somebody be gender fluid if they only have one gender? Well, there is a special type of gender fluid called gender flux, which is they vary with the intensity of one gender. So instead of saying going from male to female, they would go from agender to female. And how much female they feel is kind of uh, on that gender flux varies. So they can be gender fluid in that way. What sexualities are gender fluid people? Well, gender fluid people, just like any other group of people, can that it varies who they're interested in romantically or sexually. So, and how they define themselves, that can also change, but that doesn't mean that who they're interested in changes, although for I think a small percentage of them that might happen, but for the most part, most gender fluid people, they're, who they're interested in stays the same. So how they define that, like I was saying, that can change. So say if you have somebody that is gender fluid and they vary between uh, male and female and they're interested in women, when they're identifying as a male, they might identify as straight. And when they identify as a woman, they might identify as a lesbian. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to change how they define their sexuality, but it is not uncommon for gender fluid people to change their, uh, change their sexuality to match what their gender identity is at the time. Which bathroom do gender fluid people use? Well, gender fluid people, they might use the bathroom of the identity that they are feeling at that time, or they might just keep it consistent and just always use the same bathroom. Uh, you know, it's kind of a personal choice that varies from person to person, and it's not really a big deal. They're just going to the bathroom, regardless of what bathroom they use. Which pronoun or pronouns do gender fluid people use? Well, gender fluid people just use whatever pronouns that they are comfortable with. For some gender fluid people, they might use the same pronoun all the time. At, you know, 
for instance, they might use they, um, so just consistently regardless of what they feel, or they might switch it based on the identity that they feel. So if they're feeling like a male, they might use he, and if they're feeling like a woman, they might use she, and if they're feeling maybe non-binary, they might use they or a different uh, non-binary pronoun. Do gender fluid people always present as the identity that they are identifying as at the time? No, and there are many reasons why a gender fluid person might not present as a certain gender identity. One is if their gender identity had just shifted, then it might be inconvenient for them to change so they are presenting to match that gender identity. Another reason is they just might not feel comfortable. So say if you have an AMAB person, someone assigned male at birth, and they are identifying as a woman at that time, uh, they just might not feel comfortable going out presenting as a woman for multiple reasons, um, you know. Uh, transphobia is a very common thing, sadly, in many parts of the world. And, uh, you know, so that could cause people problems at home, problems with work, all sorts of things. So maybe somebody just simply isn't comfortable presenting as the identity they feel like. And another reason why they might not is that clothing has no gender. So there's a difference between like gender presentation and gender identity, right? Uh, so, you know, women don't have to, for instance, wear dresses and skirts and men don't have to wear suits. Like, you know, uh, that doesn't change how you feel on the inside. Are all trans people gender fluid? No. A gender fluid person is somebody that their identity, their gender identity, changes over time. So say if you have somebody that is AMAB, assigned male at birth, and they identify as a woman and they've always been a woman, then they are not gender fluid. They're simply just a trans woman. So them presenting as a guy potentially earlier in life, that doesn't make them gender fluid. They're still just a trans woman. In order to be gender fluid, you need your gender identity to change. So if someone's always felt a certain gender identity, they are not gender fluid. Are cross-dressers gender fluid? Most cross-dressers are not gender fluid. Some cross-dressers are gender fluid. The reason that most cross-dressers are not gender fluid is that the gender identity needs to change. So a lot of cross-dressers say a man that sometimes dresses as a woman, if they still identify as a man, even if they're presenting as a woman for fun or who knows what reason, if they don't identify as a woman, they're not gender fluid. They're just simply a cross-dresser. Do all gender fluid people experience gender dysphoria? No, um, many gender fluid people do experience gender dysphoria, and many gender fluid people do not experience gender dysphoria. And how gender dysphoria affects a gender fluid person, that can vary greatly between two individuals. Um, but gender dysphoria, is not required in any way to be gender fluid. Um, you know, it's all about your own internal identity changing over time. So that's what makes somebody gender fluid, not whether or not they experience gender dysphoria. Do gender fluid people take HRT? So HRT is hormone replacement therapy. This is something that many gender fluid people do not take, and a bunch of gender fluid people do take. Um, you know, how they experience gender is unique to each gender fluid person, and the changes that they might 
need um, to feel at peace with themselves that, you know, also varies. So some gender fluid people, they might seek HRT or other uh, things such as hair removal or surgeries to either make themselves more feminine, masculine, or androgynous. Do gender fluid people change their name with how they are presenting? Well, that's something that is a personal choice and it, you know, that's another thing that varies and some gender fluid people say a gender fluid person that identifies sometimes as a man and sometimes as a woman when they're feeling like a man they might use a name like john and when they're feeling like a woman they might use a name like jessica and some gender fluid people might opt for say a more androgynous name so something like jesse that could be used as a man or a woman's name and they might just always use that name. And finally, some people just don't change their name at all. Um, you know, to some people, a name is just simply a name and they don't really put too much weight on it. So it's something that should absolutely be respected and not everyone changes their name and some gender fluid people change their names for different reasons. I'm sure that there are a ton of things that I have probably missed going over, uh, you know, like, you know, some of these topics relating to gender are just so big and diverse that, you know, there's only so much that you can really uh, cover in a short video. But if you have any questions that I missed, feel free to drop them in the comments section, and if I know enough about them. Uh, maybe I'll answer them in the future if I have the uh, time to. I'll try to get around to it if I can. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this video helps some people out in some ways, whether they're trying to figure some stuff out about themselves or others or partners or family members. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be more videos on uh, gender-related things in the future. All right, thanks. Bye.